Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm back and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under 10 minutes. I use comical approach with a twist of force to it. Of course, people will try to make fun of me, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm like Jesus, baby. You know, people didn't like Jesus too much. That's why they crucified him. Fictitious Jesus, of course. But this video is going to be about how to contradict an atheist. Because I had, I keep having these arguments with these atheists on the internet and shit like that. Yo, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with these atheists, man? I'm like, yo, don't you think, before, before, before I begin <clears throat> on this little rant, okay, and it's this criticism of them, okay, they're supposed to be so smart, but, but so dumb, okay. Um, if you have any comments, insults, or questions, you put it down below, okay? And I will screen it, monitor it, and approve of it. And when I first make my first new videos, you could try to put something there, it's going to be deleted. Everything's going to be deleted. It, it, you know, superficial uh, insults will be deleted. If you are not a comedian, you are no match for me. Okay. All right. And, of course, you are going to have to make your own videos. So I can make fun of you. Because if I can't see your videos, there's no roast fest at all. Okay. All right. There's no roast fest. Okay. I like to learn from other people. I like to people call me potato heads or some shit like that or... Or cabbage patch or some shit like that, you know, they think they think they can get away with it, but they can't be made fun of. Okay? <laughs> I can make fun of you even if you look like the goddamn Buddha. You look perfect. I can still make fun of you. That's how good I am. But anyway, this video is going to be about how to contradict an atheist. Now, you know how athe in the past I've mentioned these three things before, okay? There's the agnostic, okay? There's the gnostic, and then there's the atheist. And then there's the theist. Okay. As you already know by statistics, most people are idiots, so they are theists, right? Okay, right, 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 right. Theists are religious people, just in general. Straight up off the top. Most people are not intelligent enough to do enough research in their own religion or their own fucking biased God. Okay. Whatever their religion is, it doesn't matter. Okay. People really believe in their God. Through when it was brainwashed at a young age, okay. At a very young age, okay. Alright? That's a theist, okay. I told you about this before, okay. Now, Gnostic, okay, that's with a G, G-N, okay, you know, how to spell Gnostic. They already have secret knowledge. They're not going to tell you about this site. They're scientists. They're like the illuminated ones. They're not going to tell you their secret knowledge because it's too much for the human beings, humanoid species to understand. They believe in the Demiurge God, okay? Whatever the theories, they got it. They're going to keep it to themselves. That's, I think that's pretty smart, okay? I would rather fit in with them and keep that shit like, underground, you know what I'm saying? Because most people can't handle that. They can't handle it, okay? All right, so you got the Gnostic, right? Okay, they have knowledge. They do have the knowledge, okay? But of course, they, they have knowledge of the history, okay? They don't have facts, okay? But they may have secret facts that they keep to themselves. Now, agnostic, a agnostic, okay? Which is most like, I'm both Gnostic and agnostic, okay? So I believe in the, the, the possibilities. They're skeptics, okay? They don't have enough information, okay? They lack the knowledge thereof, okay? All right? So you got agnostic, right? So they believe, okay, we don't have enough information. I can't say there's a God or I can't say there is a God. They can't say that, okay? All right? They lack the information. They say they can't, they don't, they say they, they cannot say either they believe in a God or they don't. They just can't say it. They don't have, they lack the information, okay? The agnostic, they say they do, but they, maybe they don't, okay? It doesn't really matter, okay? Now, agnostic, they don't have an open mind to probabilities and possibilities. Now, I, I, I told you before, they, if you read the Webster's Dictionaries and the old ancient dictionaries and stuff like that, the definitions change over time. It's like mathematical equations. And mathematical equations change over time. Okay? So you may think that A plus B equals C back in those days, but it wasn't, okay? Because things change over time. Mathematical formulas change. Okay? So let me get this out of the way, okay? So we can get this out of the way. How the contrad you asked an atheist, okay, okay, you said you you saw it, you, you said you you believe in Adam, you believe in science, right? Right? And then you, you'll be like, yeah, sure, I believe the scientific community. Blah, 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 blah. But I guarantee you, if you ask them this question, have you seen it in person yourself? Okay. Ask them that question, okay? And they'll be like, if they say no, if they say no, this is how you can tell if they're a hypocrite. You know, okay, you you you're telling me you actually went under the microscope and you saw an atom. And you believe that you, you was looking at an atom, okay? And you actually believe that you actually believe in, uh, you know, uh, they don't believe, they use, atheists, atheists don't usually believe in shit, no possibilities. They just believe in the scientific community. They're smart like that, but they make, they, they're skeptics, okay? They're not skeptics, they just, they just believe what the fucking scientific community says. And they start talking, trying to convince people. 
you know, they may have, they may have ulterior motives in their mind saying, I'm going to do whatever I want, and I'm not going to have to worry about no karma dharma. Okay? That's how some atheists think. I know how they think, okay? Because I talk to them, okay? You think that when you do something bad, nothing bad going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? That's, you got to think about that. Maybe they're atheists because of that reason, okay? Now, okay, and if they say to you, I have not never seen an atom underneath a microscope, you caught that motherfucker red-handed, okay? That's how you contradict. That's how you catch him in the act. You said you've never seen it before, but you're going to believe what other people believe? Because you know most people believe, believe, believe in a God, right? All right? They never saw a God, right? Okay? Even though it's not a fact, okay? They, they, they just believe in a God strongly, okay? And also, there's a lot, millions more people who've seen aliens. There's a lot more people who've seen the, the, the writings on the walls, okay? And they believe that's fact. That actually happened, okay? You know what I'm saying? So that's how you that's how you contradict the atheists, okay? In a nutshell, that's you don't need to say, okay, you, you, just, you just believe. You just believe you never saw it yourself, okay? You know, you never saw it yourself, but you just believe, okay? So since I'm agnostic and I'm, I'm also agnostic and I have my gnosis open, I believe in all possibilities, so I, I can't say anything. I believe that if I make a prayer, a short prayer once a year, a deities might be listening to me, invisible might, ghost might try to help me. Because I have heard voices tell me to do something, and they, they can but scientists can't understand the placebo effect. They can't understand quantum physics. They can't even understand that shit, Okay? But you got an atheist telling you, oh, these are scientific community. You you just believe their word, huh? You believe their word, don't you? Okay. No, you gotta you gotta change your you gotta change your tone, man. That's not that's being closed minded, saying that there's no possible no possibility of a god. I don't care how small it is. Just keep your mind open, and that that zero one 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 percent that impossibility our limited minds can think that shit could be possible, and that's logic for your ass. Okay. All right. So we got that out of the way. That's how you contradict the fucking atheist. Do that. Do that. Find the, find yourself an atheist, like I have. And I say, okay, have you did? Have you seen it for your own two eyes? Have you been there for your own two eyes and saw the motherfucking invisible gamma rays? Okay. Have you went under the microscope and actually saw invisible gamma rays? If they say no, then you know they're believing on another man's word okay? or the media. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. Peace. That's how you get those atheist bastards. Peace. <laughs>